Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be using the Dear Lizzie Stargazer collection for my layout. As I usually do, I am showing you the papers that I think I am going to be using up front. Now, I am going to be using a sketch for this layout. It is a Creative Scrappers sketch, and I do believe I show it. I think it is number 264. This piece of paper right here with the bikes on it, I do not end up using that in the end. In this piece of paper, I end up fussy cutting pretty much all of those labels or all of those little um, boxes off of there. I'm going to use a piece of white for my background. This is actually the opposite side of a paper that I didn't think I would be using out of a 12 by 12 paper pad. Yes, right here is the sketch I'm going to be using. I do stray from it a little bit. Like that sketch called for stitching and I did not do any stitching. Funny thing that um, I thought that I was going to do this layout really quickly. Like I even set a timer on my phone because I was going to do it in 15 minutes, right? So I didn't have time to, to um, stitch. I did not do it in 15 minutes. I did not do it in an hour. <laughs> it took a long time. I pushed stuff around the page so long. It's ridiculous. I cut most of the pushing around out. This right here didn't help my time. Sometimes when I have uh, some papers left over from previous layouts and they're cut wonky like you saw some had punches like this has holes punch I that drives me nuts so right here I'm cutting off all those wonky edges that were on the papers that I wanted to use so this did not help me with my time in fact I probably should have cut this out of the video but I did not so sorry about that guys I think I have one more piece of paper to trim up and then we can move on. Alrighty. So, most of those papers that I cut up, well, not most of them, but several of those papers that I cut up, there is actually a point to it. I am going to use those for this layout. Okay, Becky, that's enough. Let's get on with it. Come on, let's go. All right, so I'm pulling out this page. I am going to cut out several of those boxes, and I do end up using several of those boxes. So right here, I had pulled out some chipboard alphas, and I peeled the original uh, top layer off of it, the original um, color off of it, and I am taking my Kelly Perky ink in navy blue and just dabbing it. And so I'm changing my alphas to be a navy blue color. Right here, I'm getting ready to start building my layout. I am going to use this photo. This is a photo of my mom and Brandis. And this is going to be a layout that I send to Brandy. Now, I do at some point during this layout drop something on the photo and take a big chunk out of the picture. So I need either need to live with it, which I'm not because really it's going to Brandy, so she needs to live with it. <laughs> or I can be nice and replace the picture before I send it to her. I don't know. I went ahead and pulled out my Westcott ruler to kind of rip the edges of these papers. They're all going to be ripped. This piece right here is I leave a good bit of this piece blank so that Brandy can do some journaling if she feels like it. Here's where I'm going to build one of my clusters right here. I layer up some of those pieces that I had cut out of that paper that had all those boxes. I'm just going to layer it up like that. I do leave that just love up at the top. I don't ink any of the edges because again, I was trying to be quick about this layout, which was an epic fail. I did tuck one of those boxes underneath the left hand side of that photo right there. And here in a minute I am going to actually realize that my camera is still zoomed in. It's okay on this part because I am working inside of the frame. So here we go. I realized it and zoomed out. I'm going to go ahead and adhere down 
some of these layers. I am just using that little Tombow tape runner to do that. I do have an ATG gun, which you've seen me use before, and I just go back and forth between using the Tombow tape runner and also the ATG for no reason. It's just whatever is at my hand. I don't necessarily have a preference. I'm going to go ahead and rip the edges of this as well. I do have to use my tweezers to get up underneath the paper. And then I'm going to rip off one more side of that, I believe, down there at the bottom, just to make it a little more uniform. Now, some of the edges are clean cut. The inside of that pink striped edge is clean, and then the inside edge and the top edge of where the photo is housed is clean. And then that strip at the bottom, the top edge of that is clean as well. Right here, I thought about layering this over that pink paper, but that's not how it's going to end up. Here's where my title is going. It says Granny and Me. I do add another bit up at the top above the fiddle because I end up with this big space that I can't, I can't figure out how to fill. And when I'm pushing around all these embellishments, you'll see I'm trying to fill this space above the photo and it wasn't working. That sketch called for a strip at the top and the bottom. I'm not going to do that. You saw there that pink paper. I was kind of playing around with putting it at the bottom. And it just, it wasn't working. Now on this video, I did use a different camera to record it. And you can see the light keeps going in and out. And I do not know why it's doing that. Here I'm showing you two different dies. They're both by Little B. I picked them up at Tuesday morning. I'm going to use those to make my own embellishments. And really, it's just some flower cutouts, some hearts, and a bow, and an arrow I think I use. I cut out way more than that, but don't end up using all of it. So right here, you can see that big space over the photo. It was very awkward, so I'm trying to fill it up. I thought I'd fill it up with these arrows, and I don't end up liking that, so those are going to go away. Here's where I said I pushed around the embellishment pieces on the layout for forever for forever I don't even know what the problem was and there the lights going back in and out I haven't used that camera again I don't think I might have I think I used it on like three or four different layouts and then um, I don't I don't know what the deal is I have recently got some new lights so maybe I can pull that camera back out and try it again and maybe it'll be fun I don't know so I talked to my mom a couple days ago. She called me and she's like, I saw you today. And I was like, you did. And I was really excited because I thought maybe Jim uh, brought my mom here for things or not Thanksgiving for Christmas for me, like as a present or something. And because we live far apart, like if I was going to drive there, it'd be 18 hour. It'd be an 18 hour drive. So yeah, I was, I was like, really? And, so, and she's like, yeah, on Susie's phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she, and then she goes on to tell me, well, I didn't really see you. I just heard you on the YouTube. <laughs> so Susie showed her um, a YouTube video that I had done, which I thought was hilarious because my mom has never seen any of my YouTube videos. I talk about my mom a lot on here. Uh, so it's kind of funny that... She uh, was watching him. It's like YouTube is like a big dirty secret. I don't tell many people. And in fact, as I asked mom, how'd Susie know about it? <laughs> and Susie said I put it on Instagram once. And I'm like, why would I do that? I don't even know. I, I don't remember doing that. I must have done it, obviously. But I don't remember why. Because it's a big secret. Like nobody at my work. Mm -mm. Nope, nobody knows. <laughs> it's like a big secret. All right, guys. So I pushed around the embellishments a lot. Here, how it is right here is actually how it ends up going. I did cut away from you seeing that because it was just, it was crazy. I am going to put two buttons on here. Right here, I'm poking the holes through the buttons because, yes, of course, I'm going to stitch them on the page. I tried to get away from doing that, and I just, I can't. 
I just, I can't get away from it. I have got to stitch the buttons on the page. Buttons need to be stitched. It's insane. I know. Ridiculous. The button up at the top, I'm also going to poke the ho holes in for, but I'm not actually going to stitch them on camera. These two little hearts I'm going to stick over at the left hand side of the opposites. And I also end up putting a little pink puffy heart there. And you remember how I said the sketch called first strip at the top and the bottom? I don't know when I do this, but I end up ripping off the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner of the layout. And back behind there, I put that um, minty paper that is underneath that Just Love box. It's the minty uh, checked checked paper. I put it in the corners. And I don't, when I was editing this video, I don't remember seeing myself do that. All right, so I'm punching the holes for this one as well, this button as well, and I am going to go ahead and stitch those on. Right here, I'm showing you the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Sea Foam, and I am going to give that a splatter around the page. After I do that, I do not do anything else to this layout. There's that corner, and I did that at two different corners, like I had said. Just like that. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.